Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to add the actual values as axis tick marks to a plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio two new data objects appear which are called x and y and both of these data objects contain numeric values. Now if we want to draw these values to a plot then we can apply the plot function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see that at the bottom right of our studio a new plot is created and as you can see this plot has axis tick marks but these axis tick marks do not represent the actual values of our data. So if we want to add the actual values of our data as axis tick marks to our plot then we have basically two alternatives and the first alternative is shown in lines 7 and 8 of the code. So in line 7 of the code I'm creating a plot without any x-axis values. So if you run this line of code you can see that our plot is updated at the bottom right and this time our plot is shown without axis values on the x-axis. And now we can manually add values as axis tick marks using the axis function as you can see in line 8 of the code. And in this function we are specifying the position at which we want to add our axis values. So the value 1 corresponds to the x-axis. And then we also specify the add argument to be equal to the values in our first numeric vector. So if you run line 8 of the code you can see that another plot is created at the bottom right. And we can make this plot a little bit larger by clicking on the zoom button. And then you can see that we have created a new plot which is showing the actual values of our first input vector as axis tick marks. So as you have seen in the first example we can use the axis function and the add argument to add our actual values as axis tick marks to our plot. However I want to show you another alternative for this task and this is what I'm doing in line 10 and 11 of the code. So in line 10 of the code I'm again plotting our data without an x-axis and then in line 11 I'm again using the axis function. I'm specifying the position of our axis values to be at the x-axis and then instead of the add argument that I have used in the previous example I'm using the x-axp argument and we have to specify a vector of three elements to the x-axp argument and this vector needs to contain the starting value of our first axis tick mark, the last axis tick mark and the number of axis tick marks in between. So if you run line 11 of the code you can see that our plot is updated again and if we enlarge on this plot window you can see that we have created exactly the same plot as in the previous example. So this plot is also showing the actual values of our data on the x-axis as axis tick marks. However, this time we have used the xaxp argument instead of the add argument. So in this video I have explained how to add the actual values of an input vector as axis tick marks to a plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.